So first we, we read the screening examination without AI and then we use our advantages we re that are that we can see the whole image, we can compare with priors, we see the clinical context and we, we do what you usually do. And then when we're ready, we put on the AI tool and then we can see the markings in the image. So here it shows the it, uh, regional mark and it gives a score. So here AI has marked a small finding in the image and it forces us to check this and when we take off the CAD mark we can see here that is a small speculations here. After we read the screening exam we put on the AI so we just press on a button here and then you can see here that AI has marked a finding here on the image and it gives a regional score uh, and 81 it's a high score and then we take off the CAD mark and we analyze this here and we can see, well actually here it's a subtle speculated mass that is partly covered by dense tissue. And uh, this woman was recalled and uh, after we did an assessment we found a 5 millimeter invasive cancer. But I think this illustrates uh, well uh, the possibilities with using AI in the screen reading. In low and middle income countries, there's a, a huge lack of, uh, of doctors. So these algorithms trained on large data can of course make a really big difference in, in this area where there, there are no experts. I think it is exciting because we are lacking uh, physicians all over, and especially uh, breast radiologists we are lacking, and now we have a, a valuable tool to reduce uh, the workload. And even as it, it was not my goal, and I didn't know if we would end there, but it, as it turns out, it has been even an improvement to the quality to put in AI. I hope that man can upptäcka flera förändringar tidigare än vad man gör nu, så att man kan bli hjälpt på ett annat sätt. Och då är den här randomiserad i efter två års uppföljning, för då ser man... Okay. Okay, and just keep looking at that target. of years from now it will be something so you can potentially go to your local high street optician and have an eye scan done and pick up early signs of this condition. If there were Parkinson's tests sort of readily available in conjunction with an eye test I think I would have it done because I would have got more uh, activity out of my life than I have at the moment and I would have maybe gone to places that I haven't gone abroad or whatever, done things that I haven't done. 